Hi, this is Lori Walton, Empowerment Coach, and I'm here today talking to you um, what I'm calling the frog in the pot um, parable. And the frog in the pot is when the frog is put in the pot and the water is heated up and it's slowly heated and the frog doesn't notice until it's too late. And that's what I've been feeling like lately in my nervous system. The heat's been been building. The stress and anxieties have slowly and unconsciously been building. And then I notice that I'm in need of some self-care. So this little tapping script here is a little is to help you if you're feeling like your frog in a pot is starting to get in hot water. So we're just going to do along the tapping points. And if you don't know the tapping points, I will briefly go through them. Top of the head, eyebrow point, side of the eye, under the eye, under the nose, chin, collarbone, and side of the hand. And you can use any and all of these. So I might be a little bit out of rhythm when I'm doing this because I'm thinking about a lot of different things. But tapping is very forgiving and you can't do it wrong. So just tap along and what I'd like to do is I will say a few words and give you space for you to repeat them and echo them back and then I will move on to a new statement. So here we go. Whew, I'm feeling a little bit like the frog in the pot. I just noticed that my water is heating up. I've been noticing the way that I respond. It's not my usual resourced, resilient way. And I'm just feeling a lot of anxiety, a lot of frustration in my nervous system. There's changing expectations that create anxiety. There's frustration in myself and within the people around me. There's so many unknowns and it feels like it's been going on for so long. And I think it's getting better and it's not. And there's just this anxiety, all this anxiety all the time. There's fear, there's anxiety, there's mistrust and confusion. And all of that is landing in my body and my nervous system is responding. All this frustration all this anxiety. I'm just really honoring these feelings that I'm having, these emotions that are running through my system. They might be unconscious or that some of them might actually be conscious and I'm just going to honor them now. This anxiety all these changes, all these unknowns, they just add so much stress to my life. And this underlying stress has been going on for such a long time. It's been over a year now. And I'm just honoring that my body is wired and responding to this. I'm honoring these feelings right now. I'm acknowledging them. I'm bringing them out into the light. Maybe I'm seeing them for the first time. 
maybe I'm having a little bit of compassion for myself that I haven't been able to think as clearly as I like. I haven't been able to make as good a decisions as I would like. I'm easily frustrated. I have low tolerance. I feel like my fuse is very short. And all this anxiety, all this anxiety in my system, all this frustration, all this fear, this anger, I'm just honoring it right now, that it's a real thing and I'm really feeling it. It's registering in my body. And I'm just honoring the feelings that I have and being present with them. And honoring that when my body is stressed and in anxiety and fear, my natural response, my response that's wired into my nervous system makes me less resourceful. It shuts down my brain. It turns down my digestive system. It amps up the hormones in my, stress hormones in my body. And I've been feeling that and I've been living in that for a long time. And I'm just honoring it right now and seeing it for what it is. I'm just honoring it and seeing it and knowing that I can use this tool of tapping to start to bring my nervous system down, calming my system down, allowing myself into a slightly more resource space where I'm a little bit more resilient and I'm just having compassion for myself and for others as we live in this time where our water in our pot has been heating up and now we're taking control, recognizing it and addressing it in whatever ways we can like honoring our feelings, honoring the sensations in our body, making a little space, being kind to ourselves. Taking action that serves our highest good and taking action that serves the highest good of all. Mm. So take a little breath, see how that feels. Hopefully that's helped you calm down just a little bit. And you can do that at any time. You can add your own words in there. Remember this is a powerful tool and um, we need extra self-care right now. So make the time, take care of yourself. You're worth it. The world needs you to be your best self, and only you can take care of you. Blessings to you, and I hope to see you on another video.